I'm Jason Menino, career coach for Professorate.com. In this segment, I'm going to share tips with you about how to manage your stress at work during challenging times. Many of you still employed have been experiencing high levels of increased stress during these challenging times. Layoffs and cutbacks have become commonplace throughout work environments and can yield increased levels of fear, anxiety, uncertainty. In March of this year, American Psychological Association reported that 8 out of 10 people are experiencing economic-related stress and employers are seeing a surge in requests for counseling and employee assistance services. On a daily basis, a certain amount of stress is normal. However, high levels of stress over long periods of time become unhealthy. Psychological symptoms of stress often come in the experience of burnout, very low energy, and depression, which can all adversely influence your ability to get the job done. In this segment, I offer you strategies to help you reduce your stress and maintain your energy level at work. Learning to manage your stress is important to your health, peace of mind, and success, especially during these challenging times. The first step in managing your stress is to acknowledge it. I reiterate that challenges are a normal part of life. The issue comes when too often high levels of stress go ignored over long periods of time. One of the greatest steps in managing your stress is to become aware of it and acknowledge it. Then take ownership and accept that it is within your realm of responsibility to manage your stress, physical and emotional well-being at work. Practice becoming aware of your automatic responses and negative attitudes that add to the stress you experience at work. When being aware of these triggers becomes common, you're in a much more empowered position to effectively manage how you respond. One way to practice awareness is by keeping what I call an observation journal. In this journal, at the end of each day for a minimum of four times a week, take five to ten minutes to journal about an event that occurred that disturbed your peace and increased your stress. Include in the journal the event, your thoughts and feelings about the event, your overall response. More than likely, you'll begin to notice two things. One, practicing observation will help you become more aware of upsetting events as they occur, which will provide the opportunity to more effectively manage your response. Two, you will notice over time that the simple act of observing and knowing how you might respond will minimize your response. Overall, simply acknowledging your stress Taking responsibility for your well-being and practicing self-awareness can play a key role in significantly reducing your experience of stress at work. Now I'm going to provide some very specific tips that will help you manage your stress and maintain your energy at work. Generally, people tend to fear the worst. If you're experiencing fear, perhaps about being next on the pink slip, I encourage you to ask yourself if your fear is real or perceived. A real fear is a fear of something that could really happen. For instance, perhaps another round of layoffs was just announced at your company. However, if your company just had the best quarter in its history, being laid off may be a lot less likely and therefore a perceived fear. I encourage you to stay in the present moment and not get too caught up in what if thinking. The experience of fear actually results from what you think about. It is important for you to maintain a positive attitude and do your best to manage negative thinking patterns. Ignore the rumor mill. Stay away from gossiping and fear-mongering at the office. This is not self-supportive. It just perpetuates your fear and anxiety. Maintain self-care. Adopt some uplifting self-care practices. Even 30 minutes of exercise five times a week is a great way to help manage anxiety. Meditate or taking a hot bath before bed can help to calm your fear and anxiety and generate a greater sense of peace in your life. Keep a gratitude journal. Daily before bed, write five things you're grateful for. This helps keep your focus on the positive things already present in your life. Here are some time management tips to help you reduce stress. Every 90 minutes to two hours, take a 10 to 15 minute break. When I say break, I don't mean stay at your desk and check your email. I mean get up from your desk Go we'll get a drink of water, take a quick walk outside for some fresh air, and even a quick walk around the block if time allows. If you have an MP3 player or iPod, listen to uplifting music that will help you regain energy, lower your stress, and bring more peace to your day. Make sure that you're prioritizing tasks and organizing your projects into manageable tasks. This will play a significant role in reducing overwhelm that can also create stress. Take a balanced approach to your schedule. When you prioritize your work, Include a balance of work, family, and fun. Even if you have a long commute, try to give yourself enough time to get to the office 
10 or 15 minutes early so that you have an opportunity to ease into your day. Create a not to-do list. A not to-do list is a list made up of items from your to-do list that are not essential and can be tagged for a later date. You may notice that just thinking about creating your not to-do list increases your energy and peace of mind. Eat sensibly and exercise. Avoid the sugar, cake, soda that's often too pervasive in typical office environments. Obviously, food loaded in sugar will elicit energy crashes which can affect your attitude and increase stress. This is also true for lunch, heavy in carbohydrates. One way to help keep your energy levels up during the day is to engage in some exercise during your lunch hour. A simple, brisk walk around the block could help. Finally, acknowledge yourself. If you're doing the work of two, three, or four people as a result of cutback at your company, I strongly urge you to accept that it's highly unlikely that you'll get it all done. Moving to acceptance of this probability will support you in reducing your stress. In addition, simply acknowledge yourself. In a gentle way, let yourself know that you're doing the best you can and that you deserve to take good care of yourself regardless of the circumstances. It's understandable that during the chaos and uncertainty we are experiencing in the realm of employment, unemployment, and company cutbacks, that you may be unwilling to leave a less than desirable working circumstance. Regardless, it is within your circle of influence to choose how you manage yourself and your stress. Even on the days that you feel you don't have it in you to take a small action to manage your stress, you do. I encourage you to take one tiny action that will lead you in the direction of more energy, more peace, greater productivity, and even more satisfaction. I am Jason Minino, career coach for Professorate.com. Thank you for watching.